in a world where hopium and common sense collide. Starring the Crypto Keeper and Blockchain Crusader. Welcome to Debate Crypto. So Tim was talking about this morning, and I've heard him talk about it a lot, the Wyckoff accumulation happening, right? Mm-hmm. And he's talking about that, that he thinks it might be happening again right now. Mm-hmm. So this is kind of a, a, a macro question, a, a few questions within one. Uh, first of all, like, where do you think this market's headed? And within that question, where, do, do you have an idea of when or where you think we're going to top? Are we? And then, and then the last part of this would be, do you think that we're actually going to have a classic bear market or is it actually going to be different this time? I love that final question because I have a hot take on that one. So the thing that I think about Bitcoin is I, th- I originally believed that the all-time high would be probably late February, early March, maybe mid-March. I think that now that we've dropped lower than we thought, uh, then I, the, no, I shouldn't say we, then I thought I didn't expect us to drop. I expected us to drop to 53. I didn't think that we would break below 53. So hands up. I was wrong there. Right. Um, I think that since we've done that, the entire cycle has been lengthened. I think that it's going to take longer to hit all time high because there's a lot of room left to go. Like I think that there is so much left in the tank here. I mean, um, Kathy Wood. Yeah. Kathy Wood, the CEO of Ark Invest, yeah. they have $53 billion assets under management. She said that if institutions invest 5% of their capital in Bitcoin, that it would drive the price up $500,000, not to $500,000, up 500K, so to 550K. And I think that that's a very realistic, uh, and to be honest with you, I think it's an understatement because there are, just so you guys know, over $10 trillion sitting on the sideline. We've seen this market go from a quarter trillion dollars to two and a half trillion dollars mm-hmm. in the span of two years. Mm-hmm. It wasn't long ago Bitcoin was at $4,000 on a dip. So I don't think that we're anywhere near done with this market. I think we're going to see a lot higher than $69,000. I think we're going to see well into the six figures in the next year. And I do think that that is going to take longer now than it would have originally just because we've had this larger dip, because we're seeing more uh, a stronger shakeout than we had previously, which, by the way, is a very good thing. I don't want to see Bitcoin do this because you know what happens right. when Bitcoin does this? It does that. And then a lot of people uh, get very, very burned because they didn't set their stop losses or you know didn't or invested too, more than they're willing to lose, whatever. So I think it's going to take longer. I think we're probably going to see an all-time high um, uh, of like a bull market peak, probably more closer towards summer, maybe even fall of next year at this rate, just because I think we've delayed things several months. But as as far as the bear market is concerned, I also don't think we're ever going to see an 85% bear market like we've seen the last two times. We saw Bitcoin move to... Thirteen hundred bucks at the end of twenty thirteen. Then we saw it drop in twenty early twenty late twenty fourteen, early twenty fifteen. I wasn't in the market back then, so I'm having to remember. So I want to say one hundred eighty dollars. That was about an eighty five percent correction. We saw Bitcoin go to twenty k, drop to three k, eighty five percent correction. I don't think we're going to see that this time. I think we're going to see a shorter and smaller bear market. For the same reason that we don't see 85% corrections in the stock market, we are building such a large market that has its fingers in so many different areas that there is a lot of um, there's so much interconnectivity in the market that it's going to allow the market to hold itself up. There's no one point of failure. It's like Bitcoin. Bitcoin's a decentralized network. You can't attack one node and take down the network. You got to attack the whole thing to take yep. it down, and that's very difficult. And in crypto, even just two years ago, a lot of a lot of people in crypto right now weren't here two years ago. Yeah. I've been here for four and a half years. I've seen mm-hmm. this. Two three years ago wasn't long ago. You take out Bitcoin by having a FUD story, the whole market crashes. That's clearly not the way it works anymore. Now, it might drop, but it's not going to dump because there's so much going on in the NFT space, the decentralized application space. We've got a quarter trillion dollars staked um, on uh, and, and locked up in DeFi projects now. So I think we're going to have a, a, lo- a much, uh, I think we have much more of a safety net than we ever have. And I think we're going to see a later all-time high and a smaller bear market.